government has but one responsibility, and that is to defend its citizens. everyone. I don't need to announce who I am, do I? Nadine Wellwood. Um, I'm about ready to explode here. Uh, forgive me, but Jason Kenny, oh, have you been following the tweets the last few days? The most recent one I just got there was uh, Bill Mayer in uh, Fox News in the United States has come out basically and calling out Jason or Justin Trudeau for his words about these people and how similar they were to uh, Hitler's words. And he's like, yeah, you know, people are catching on to you, Justin Trudeau. Jason Kenney, your little military stunt with the police out at uh, Milk River on Wednesday. You know, Albertans have caught on to you, you SOB. I'm angry. I'm angry at all these politicians, conservative in name only, have hid away for two years. Two years. You have left people to fend for their own rights and freedoms. The government has but one responsibility, and that is to defend its citizens. It is to protect their rights and their freedoms. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms is the supreme law in this land. And you, sir, you, Jason Kenney, have violated that as much as Justin Trudeau has. So I want people to know you can cut the head off of any of these parties. I don't care if you belong to the Liberals, you belong to the NDP, or you belong to the Conservative Party of Canada or the UCP. You are all the same. You were all guilty for the last two years of violating the rights and freedoms of Canadians. All of you are a disgrace. There has been nothing but a handful of people, politicians, who have stood with the people and not violated their rights. But a handful. And Jason Kenney, you were the one at the front making sure that people, everyday Canadians, stayed home, were locked down, lost their businesses, promoting, chanting, get vaccinated, get boosted. It's safe and effective. Well, that's all fine and dandy. And people should always have a choice. But this nonsense about, oh, we're not forcing anybody. When you ask people to choose between earning a living, feeding their families, or taking an experimental injection with no long-term data, that's coercion. That's not choice. So let's be very clear, Mr. Kenny. These are your policies, and you are just as guilty as Justin Trudeau.